this segment we're going to cover sanding the door part three. Just finished puttying and we still got a few minutes before the putty dries thoroughly, but we can take this time while we're waiting and do some sanding work on those nicks and corners I discussed earlier when we were doing the puttying. So this time I'm still using that 100 grit paper, long smooth even strokes and just lightly round it around. We want to remove as little material as possible to remove the dent and just give it a smooth even appearance. Now, if you can see in the video where the dark wood comes through and then you see a white spot there, that's an indication we still have a dent. To, to, to get that smooth, one of the benefits of the primary is it allows you to better see the work that you're doing and ensure that you're getting it even. That's why we waited till after we primer to, to sand off those edges because we don't want to sand any more of the edge off than needed to remove the dent and get a good smooth appearance. So that's kind of a... Uh, assistance for us to ensure that we don't go further than necessary or don't go enough to get the dent out. So now we've got the edges the way we want them and the putty's dry. This phase of the sanding we're still going to use 100 grit and if you feel the surface after you paint it you'll feel that it's just got a slightly rough texture to it and all we want to do is just knock down those very top edges. So we don't want to use a lot of physical force or pressure, but we just want to lightly go over it and just quickly knock down the impurities in the paint to get it down to a smoother finish. And this just requires a few light strokes over the entire door. So you just want to make sure that you go around and uh, get the entire door smooth light strokes knock the surface down. Please watch our next segment on um, caulking the door jam. <laughs>